Day by day, Doug and the Slugs, it is 841 here on Okanagan Oldies 103.9. And uh, where are we here? Just about nine days away from a by-election in Kelowna West and our final interview with our uh, final candidate to announce his candidacy, I guess appropriately. And this morning, we welcome Mark Thompson to the show. Mark Thompson representing the BC Conservative Party. Good morning and welcome. Yes, good morning to you, Gord. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Let's say uh, right off the bat, I have to think that uh, you are uh, perhaps the least successful political candidate uh, that we've interviewed. However, you may very well be the most tenacious because it's try, try, uh, try, Try again. I think this is your fourth run at uh, getting elected to something uh, since you've arrived well, in Gord, Kelowna from Saskatoon. I think, is that correct? I, I think that uh, I've been elected more than anybody except one person that's running, which is Ben Stewart, because I've been elected to city council for 10 years in Saskatoon. In Saskatoon. I've been uh, appointed by the government of Saskatchewan to run the property assessment uh, organization. Mm -hmm. And I've also been on the planning commission in Kelowna, and I've been on many... Uh, community associations as their presidents, and so I don't think I'm the least successful, but you're right, I have a tenacious passion. Within within the local geography is what I meant, Mr. Thompson. Uh, I did not in any way mean to demean your abilities as a candidate, which we'll discuss here at length. Um, you represent the BC Conservatives. In fact, at one point you were a deputy leader of I that was, party. I was the deputy leader uh, when I ran uh, for the B Conser BC Conservatives uh, this, in the early 90s. This is a party that's in complete disarray, has been in complete disarray you know, as of a few months ago. As of uh, a period of time in the past, uh, they, they were in some disarray. One of the conditions for me to be willing to run was, do we have our act together? And you know, I can say, having been around the party for 10 years, that they do have their act together. We've got a president and a vice president and an interim leader. Okay, back to normal. And, I uh, would say yeah. it's very reasonable. And as you know, I've been around politics a long time. After uh, after a year of turmoil. But um, given that, and you were deputy leader, you're asking for the people of Kelowna West to put their confidence in you because why? Well, I think I can make a difference. I'm sick and tired of the dishonesty that's in government generally. You know, you got the B.C. Liberals blaming the NDP, but the B.C. Liberals were in charge of ICBC for 17 years. They actually stole money out of ICBC, which in my view belongs to the policyholders. They stole $1.3 billion, and now they're trying to blame the NDP. Well, I don't trust the NDP either, because they're trying some foolish things to change policies before they even know what's going on. So I'm running because I believe that we need to bring truth back into governance. And, you know, I've worked hard in the past, and I'm not going to quit on people if I get elected. Um, your party typically has not been uh, very successful in mustering the vote province-wide. Uh, why, why do you think that it'll be any different in, in, in Kelowna West come February 14th? Well, thanks to Wilkinson getting elected to lead the, uh, the B.C. Liberals, there's a lot of conservative people that were in the B.C. Liberals that are ringing our phones like you wouldn't believe. The B.C. Liberals have pretended that they're a coalition of Liberals and Conservatives, which they're not. We've known that for a long time. Mm. But I think that we're going to see some progress here. And frankly, we know we're not, uh, not leading in the polls. But believe me, if we work hard and we actually spread out with good word and truth, I think we can progress. We've talked about, uh, we've talked about provincial issues, gotten your uh, comment on provincial leaders uh, so far this morning. What about local issues that are important to the people of Kelowna West? What, uh, what are the two main issues in your opinion? Well, there's two main issues. One's ICBC, which is a hot topic right now. Not exactly a local issue. It's a, it's a but, provincial but issue. But it affects us locally. But the, the local issue that's most important to me is dealing with health care, particularly on the other side of the bridge. You know, West Kelowna would have a hospital if it was anywhere else except attached to Kelowna by a bridge. But it's not fair to those citizens to not have good emergency health care. So I'm supporting a, a trauma center and a community health center, which you can go all the way back to the Hall Commission to figure out that that's a good thing. I think a lot of people in uh, West Kelowna would agree with that. And uh, with very little time left, uh, you've got what's another local issue that's, uh, that's pressing in your mind? Well, taxation. In particular, it's still local, even though it's provincial jobs. We, we've got the NDP Greens trying to shut down perhaps Site C again, 
We've got them shutting down LNG and we got them shutting down the pipelines and they're fighting with their sister over in Alberta that's already taken away billions of dollars worth of purchases of electricity from BC. So I call that incompetence. If you can't even negotiate with your sister, I don't know how they're going to negotiate with anybody else. And you feel that uh, as a single candidate representing a party that uh, I think maybe got, what, 10,000 votes total in the 2016 election, you still feel they that you only, can be effective in Victoria? I am absolutely willing to guarantee that I can be effective because if you put another Green there or another Liberal there or another NDP there, is it going to make any difference? Not likely. But if you put me there, I am a pit bull. They'll know I'm there, and I won't quit. We're going to find out. Mark Thompson, the BC Conservative candidate for the Kelowna West by-election, which takes place February 14th. Thank you so much, sir, for your time. Well, thank you, Gord. Best of luck to you. Thanks.